Hello everyone, I am Ms. Tamalanjali, Assistant Professor, Department of Nutrition and Dietetics from KSR Arts and Science College for Women, Tirchangoda. I am here to teach you about food science. First, we have to know what is food science. Food science is a mixture of many different chemical compounds. Uh, that is, food science involves uh, many different chemical compounds and it also uh, helps us to understand about the changes which occurs during food preparation, uh, which can be uh, by natural or our um, handling practices. Then it also helps us to understand about the nutritional value of different foods also. Uh, this is about the food science. Then what is food and its function? Food. Food is defined as any solid or liquid which when swallowed digested and assimilated and it nourishes a body then functions food plays a major role of four functions which are energy yielding bodybuilding protection and regulation and maintenance of health energy yielding in energy yielding the foods rich in um, carbohydrates fats and proteins which provide us energy uh, like uh, carbohydrates, one gram of carbohydrates provides four calories, one gram of protein provides four calories and one gram of fat provides nine calories. Next function is bodybuilding. The foods which are rich in proteins are called bodybuildings which help us for our muscle growth. Then protection and regulation. The third function is protection and regulations. Foods rich in protein, vitamins, and minerals help us to protect and regulate our body for example these foods help us to regulate our water balance temperature and it also helps us to maintain our heartbeat too then fourth function is maintenance of health foods rich in phytochemicals and antioxidants are uh, help us to maintain our health uh, because antioxidants help us to prevent against degenerative diseases like cancer, heart diseases, etc. by preventing from the cell damage. These are the four major functions of food. Then we move on to food groups. Uh, the food is um, commonly classified into four food groups depending upon their nutritional content. Uh, the food is classified into four food groups based on ICMR which is Indian Council of Medical Research. It divides the food into four common major food groups. First one is cereals, millets and pulses. The second one is milk and animal foods. The third one is vegetables and fruits. And the fourth one is oil, fats and nuts. Let's see one by one. First, cereal, pulses, uh, millets and its nutritional value. Cereals are processed grains why is cereals are processed because the cereals uh, raw cereals are inedible to eat so while in processed grains the inedible parts are removed and they are processed and some of them are also break down into small pieces for example rice wheat maize or corn on comparing the nutritional value of cereals like rice wheat and maize uh, the rice is a richer source of carbohydrates because it contains 70 gram of carbohydrate while wheat contains 12 grams of protein so wheat is a richer source of protein and maize it contains a uh, 3.5 gram of fat uh, maize is a richer source of fat among the other cereals then pulses pulses are the edible fruits or seeds of pod bearing plants for example red gram doll bengal gram doll black gram doll etc on comparing the nutritional value of pulses like chickpea cowpea and red gram chickpea provides 360 kilocalories uh, which is a richest source and cowpea provide 24 gram of protein which is a richest source and uh, uh, red gram provides 5.3 gram of fat which is a richest source and cowpea provides 3.8 gram of fiber and which is a richest source and red gram provides uh, uh, 3.5 gram of minerals etc then millets millets are the good sources of proteins fiber vitamins and minerals uh, on comparing the nutritional contents of millets Finger millet is a richest sources of calcium which contains 344 mg of calcium. Then comparing the other two millets that is pearl millet and foxtail millet. Pearl millet and foxtail millets are also the richest sources of minerals, protein etc. The nuts and oil seeds are the good sources of protein, healthy fats, uh, fibers, vitamins and minerals. They also give us energy and it provides us uh, body with plenty of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. 
then we'll move on to fruits and vegetables fruits and uh, fruits which is a richer source of vitamins and minerals because it contains antioxidant which help us to prevent against degenerative diseases like cancer and the prevent cell damage it also protect us against many chronic diseases like cancer hypertension cholesterol and diabetes then uh, some of the examples of fruits are given then vegetables are the important sources and rich sources of many minerals like potassium and also vitamin a e c etc then eating a uh, diet rich in vegetables which help us to reduce the diseases like stroke uh, cancer heart disease and type 2 diabetic mellitus and some examples of vegetables are also given then we'll move on to uh, milk and milk products uh the nutrients present in milk and milk products are in the form of carbohydrates proteins enzymes minerals and vitamins they not only provide nutritional diet but also give energy and meet day to day nutritional needs role of constituents of milk and milk products are growth it also supplies energy it help us to maintain our body it recover from diseases help us for reproduction and it also provide taste appetite and palatability thank you thank you for this opportunity